What is that monstrosity? So we can do one of two things. Break it up. Coming along good. Just laying these little offcuts of steel that we got, give it strength because we might have a um, retaining wall in here as well. As to what I think I adequately named Lumpy, it's all gone now. Did this quick smart uh, little pathway down here that we're going to pave over later on so it doesn't need to look spectacular, but I think we make. Uh, good carpenters out of concreters but also we'll have a uh, dad had an idea to put a retaining wall over there and with the rest of it I'm probably just going to um, the engineer stated we need to have a little rake offs on our um, on our blocks there just for um, just for water flow nowhere for water water to pool but um, I think it's a pretty good effort I think it's a pretty good effort for uh, about two hours work. Done all right. It's a cold, rainy morning uh, in lockdown. Haven't been able to do any work on the house this weekend, obviously, because we can't really go out. Um, so I decided to do some work here. Um, I've already replaced the floorboard in there yesterday. And today, I'm thinking about putting a gate on here. So we built this fence <coughs> as to suit the original out at um, on the west side of the lake. It's come up really nice. This is um, where Daniel and I live. And um, yeah, it's all happening. The painter's been here and he's doing a spectacular job. I reckon those eaves just look awesome. I'll keep you updated. Well, it started raining on me. In the original way, I was gonna do these um, these rails would be through <coughs> a bit of joinery, but it didn't quite work out for me, so I'm just going to use pocket hole screws. <laughs> this is the pocket hole jig. Little clamp. Special drill bit with a little tip on the end. and creates these types of holes. So basically you put, put it in here. You clamp it. Here is my wife. <laughs> And you poke a hole in it, and then you can basically attach things at a f at a 90 degree angle uh, with these cheeky little hidden screws. Ones like that. So I'm reading through Joshua at the minute, and um, <clears throat> I got to Joshua 10, and as Joshua and the Israelites are taking on the promised land, um, they're chasing after some of the Gibeon, Gibeonites or Moabites, whatever they are, um, who are fleeing, and um, he says, sun stand still over Gibeon and the sun stands still for 24 hours like and it got me thinking this morning about what happens when we focus on what God's plan is because it was God's plan for them to take over the over the um, promised land and as it's God's plan things like where Joshua says the sun stands still and the sun stopped <laughs> like I, I don't know the science I don't know the whatever the astronomy that takes place for something like that to happen but just for a man like you like you or I a person like you or I to say sun stand still and that God let it happen as to as to align with his will and align with what he has in store for those people it is awesome to think about what we have um, in Christ now these days it's awesome
Well, I just realised that as awesome as these things are, you need a special long square drive bit, which uh, a certain little brother of mine loves to steal and loves to wreck when he's doing whatever projects he's doing. So I might leave it at that. I uh, hope you enjoyed learning about this little nifty dude. And um, have an awesome day.